tables. The next bus is scraps just tomorrow morning. Oh, well, we're losing light fast. We'll have to have a look and see if we can get a B and B for the night. Shouldn't have, wandered, shouldn't have wandered so far into the country. Hello? Is anyone in? Nobody. Come up. You can't just go in. Well, why not? We're concerned citizens. And after all, you did say there was a storm coming. Hello? See, there's no, uh, there's no lock in the handle or anything. There's absolutely no give. It's, it's stuck. It must be sealed off or something. It's a weird place. There's something familiar about it. Just like home, eh? Do you notice the clocks? They've all stopped at 12 o'clock. Even my watch. Who said that? I think the house did. The house spoke? Traditionally, houses can't do that. Perhaps this one can. What does that even mean? It locked? How, how can the world be locked? I don't think it's just the clocks and my watch that's stopped. I think all of time has. I don't understand. I'm going to say. Jack, my watch has been back to 12 again. I'm going to try and phone a taxi.
Ah, iya, ada yang sedikit Halo? Halo? Ya, ada yang sedikit taksi? Are you taking the piss? Are you taking the piss? Phone signal isn't working around here. I'm just getting uh, feedback. side of that door. What is that? I think we're about to find out. Something or someone. Oh God, no! Has it reached the door? Has it reached the door? What mustn't get in? Holy hell, what the hell is that thing? Explain. How is he? Dehydrated. Fully hungry, but... If only we had a weapon. Above the door. How many bullets? Got enough here to take that thing down, whatever it is. I think you should be asking who. It is more like. Yeah, well, I'd rather know who you are. I'm him. You're me. You're him? How can you be him? He is me, and I am him. Just as he is him, and he's also he. Shut up and start making sense. Listen, this cottage is inside a pocket of stagnant time. Stagnant time? You know what that is? Yes, yes he does. So, purely hypothetical concept by some ridiculous Victorian scientist. Basically a place where the fourth law doesn't occur. Where reality falls to bits. So, you're from... You're a future version of myself? Yes I am. From not so far in the future, from a now redundant alternative timeline that will no longer occur. How can you be certain of that? How can I be sure? I can't be sure. Because in my timeline, that creature managed to get to the door before you managed to lock it. It got in here. And it took you. Took me? Took me where? No, I think he means took you as in, in the Romero sense. That thing outside's a future version of me? Technically not a future version though. An alternative Redundant version of yourself. Because we're in a stagnant pocket of time where linearity and circularity don't exist. It overpowered me. And it broke in and took the Michael Denton that I arrived with this cottage here in the first place. It took him! Technically there is no longer a past, a present or a future. Everything around us right now is... it just... is. Well, you said that thing came in and took me, but if that thing is also me, then what took that in the first place? Michael, you're not thinking extra-temporally. That thing outside is you. It always has been you. Well then, whatever happens, that thing cannot get inside this house. Struggling, that's all we need. Oh, 
We get that message. What the hell is that? Wait, I mean, you mean you haven't heard it before? No, I haven't. What is it? Wait. This means that this pocket of stagnant time that we're trapped in is perhaps created. It means it's perhaps artificial in origin, created by... by something. Or someone. And what will you do with that thing outside? Unimportant. Unimportant, my ass. I really don't fancy being bitten by a future past present version zombie myself. What was that? Came from through by. You better go and check it out. Try not to use all the bullets. So the question has to be asked. Why has a zombie version of Denton been created in the first place? Why has that occurred? It's all to do with the stagnancy. I mean, what happens to someone that's trapped inside a pocket of it? It's become temporally malformed. We don't fully understand. Of course we don't. It's impossible. We don't know what the effects are on a genetic level to, to someone that gets trapped inside a pocket of stagnant time. I mean... Those things I'd say could just be an end result, really. I don't really know. So, if this pocket of stagnant time did that to Michael, what the hell did it do to you? Well, we're never surrounded by zombie versions of it. Did you knock the other version of yourself out? Yeah. You said there was more versions of you outside, yeah? Right? Lots more. Why'd you knock about? Haven't you wondered, Michael? I mean, look at you. You managed to turn into that thing outside, banging on the front door. And look at me. Just got locked in that room. Hang on. We need to get into that room. You can't, you can't. Keep a close watch on him. We need to get into that room. Wait, you, you can't. What's in that room, Jack? Can shut up! What's in that room, Jack? I don't know what it's like. I couldn't help any of it. How long have you been here? Jack, what's in that room? How long have you been here? What was in there? Jack, what was in that room? Damn it, Jack, what was in that room? I, I... I don't understand. But I think whatever the effect of stagnant time on you turned into those creatures outside. Temple malforms. But I think I'm also affected. I think he's also a temporal malform. So he... 
murdered and ate his other selves. Time is just, one constant wrong. universe. The one no thing out. that all things follow, that have to stick to. The one unavoidable truth. But not here. Not in this cottage. Time has no influence. And what happens to time if it can't move, if it can't spread and can't function properly? It stagnates. It ferments. It becomes those things outside and that thing sitting there. What, what, what are we going to do with them? I don't know. Was the very first Denton zombie outside some kind of paradox, an inescapable paradox? Or was it in fact a byproduct of temporal inversion and unavoidance? I don't know, but I suppose that's the question, but it's not important. So, so what do we do? We do what we do if we got trapped inside any other prison. We break out. No way 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 out. Yourself? I needed to concentrate. I couldn't concentrate with him talking. Okay, okay. You need to hold that door closed. Make sure it doesn't get in here. I think I've got it. Are we out? We are trapped inside a pocket of stagnant time. A place where time can't affect us. A test tube, if you would. A petri dish. I mean, we're just isolated from everything. So, what do we do? What do we do? There's only one thing we can do, one possible thing we can do to break out of here. What? You, you, you just self-secluded and manage it? For some reason, that incarnation of myself couldn't figure it out. We're in a time prison. Where time doesn't move. It doesn't even exist. What if time did exist? What if we could artificially create time? What if we could... That's it. Give it strength. You want to... Create time? Precisely. So, how do we measure time? How do we measure it? We look at clocks. We look at digital displays. We look at watches. But before that, what do we do that before that as a species? We, we, well, we, we count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 32, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 